Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 20 Digimon battles. For this list, we'll be looking at the most hype fight scenes from every corner of the animated series. Number 20 Omnimon vs. Negamon Digimon Adventure 2020 This fight really might just have it all. It's got a new Digivolution, it's got a beam struggle, and it's got a killer song backing it up. Although none of that should be surprising coming from the final battle of Adventure 2020. Negamon's quest to consume both worlds forced the Digidestin to bring out the big guns. <laughs> but in this case, it wasn't just Omnimon. Instead, their unshakable resolve turned the iconic fusion into his Alter S form. Then, with his new enhancements, Omnimon didn't just obliterate Negamon, he made a total show of it. Suffice it to say, this fusion made sure that the 2020 series ended with style. Number 19, War Greymon vs. Machine Draymon, Digimon Adventure. As a general warning, it's best to not get between Tai and his sister. So when Machine Draymon aimed his cannons their way, War Greymon had to make an example of him. No, Mamon. With some help from Kari's Crest of Light, Tai's Mega completely cut the Dark Master into pieces. And that's no hyperbole. Sure, Koromon walked away with a pretty wicked scar, but you should really see the other Mon. Or rather, what's left of him. I sliced you like an onion! War Greymon has more than his fair share of epic fights, and this one keeps that streak alive. The only difference here is that it's over so fast, it's less of a match and more of a one-hit KO. Number 18, Digidestined vs. Regulus Mon. Digimon Ghost Game. Kulus Gammon was a big enough issue as a champion. Once he digivolved though, it wasn't just Hero's problem anymore. He was a threat to the entire digital world. <laughs> A Digimon like that deserves a fight like none other, and Ghost Game totally delivered. It's just something undeniably thrilling about a three-on-one, no-holds-barred SmackDown. <laughs> Especially between Megas, it leads to some of the best back-and-forth fight choreography the series has ever seen. But while the action is downright epic, there's an undeniable sense that this is the only way Ghost Game could have ended. Quite frankly, Gammon defeating his evil self is as apt a metaphor as you can get. Number 17, Omni Shoutmon vs. Tactimon, Digimon Fusion. Ironically, Shoutmon's best fight in Digimon Fusion doesn't actually involve combining with anyone else. Instead, he underwent a standard Digivolution to his true ultimate form. Of course you don't! We're not like you! We're a team! We all fight for each other! But rest assured, that was still more than enough to make Tactimon wish he'd stayed in the digital world. The two duke it out high in the skies, and thanks to some great animation, each blow has a serious amount of weight behind it too. Omni and yet, in the end, Omni Shoutmon's new golden sheen was just too much to compete with. So Mikey's partner drilled straight through both his limits and tacked him on in a single glowing strike. Talk about a real fireworks show.
Number 16, Data Squad and Royal Knights vs King Drazel, Digimon Data Squad. To call this throwdown epic would be an understatement. King Drazel's unprecedented attack on the human world is the very culmination of Data Squad, and to prove it, the show leaves nothing on the table. There's burst mode digivolutions, royal knights, and a whole lot of amazing action. Very well then. You can all be destroyed along with the human world. However, taking down King Drazel is no easy feat. So when it comes down to it, Data Squad caps off its last battle by letting Marcus do what he does best, punching the villain right in the face. There's not many Digimon fights that end with a right hook, but coming from Marcus Damon, we wouldn't have it any other way. Number 15, Emperor Greymon and Magna Garurumon vs Cherubimon, Digimon Frontier. In their toughest fight yet, the Frontier gang brought out not just one, but two new Digivolutions. And as you'd expect, it delivered twice the hype too. You ready for this? Are you kidding? I was born ready! However, even with the might of all the legendary spirits, Cherubimon doesn't make it easy on them, not in the slightest. Instead, there's enough white knuckle drama in this one fight to last a whole season. It's a jaw-dropping slugfest that constantly ups the ante, and yet, it somehow never feels too one-sided either. Barrel fire! Magna rocket! As a result, when Takuya finally scores the winning blow, it truly really feels like he and Koji have earned this one. The newly purified Cherubimon would probably agree too. Let's finish this! <laughs> Number 14, Omnimon Merciful Mode vs. Ordinemon. Digimon Adventure Try Future. Omnimon might just be the most iconic Digimon there has ever been, so his appearance in Tri was less of a surprise and more of a glorified victory lap. Look! Omnimon's gathering the power of all our Digimon! Admittedly, Ordinemon was still a pretty massive threat. Emphasis on the word massive, but using the power of all the Digidestin's mega level partners, it didn't stand a chance. In fact, most of the fight comes down to a single gigantic sword slice. Just like that, Omnimon once again proved who's really the strongest Digimon around. Really, that just speaks to the best part of this whole beatdown. It's one more excuse to see Omnimon look cool, and no one can complain about that. Number 13, Magna Angimon vs Piedmon, Digimon Adventure. TK sure took his sweet time activating his crest, but thankfully, Magna Angimon's debut was well worth the wait. Up until that point, the full strength of the Digi Destined was nothing more than child's play to Piedmon. So after he quite literally laughed at their efforts, seeing TK's partner flip the script is just plain cathartic. He even snuck in some smack talk too. Chew on this. I'm not hungry. <laughs> then to finish the job, Magna Angimon's Gate of Destiny sent Piedmon straight into utter oblivion. It also got rid of the Dark Master's army just for good measure. It's only fitting that a so-called Holy Digimon has such a divine introduction. Gate of Destiny. Number 12, Godramon and Magnadramon vs Millenniumon, Digimon Adventure 2020. It's no exaggeration to say this might actually be the biggest fight in Digimon history. Not in terms of lore or story impact, but in the sheer size of its combatants. 
With that being said, it's only natural that each punch, blast, and roar feels like it rumbles the entire digital world. Better yet, the fight's unprecedented scale is fully realized through some of the best animation the series has to offer. It's a true feast for the eyes, and paired with the novelty of such a gargantuan smackdown, makes for an extraordinary spectacle. Honestly, this fight is so insane, it could have easily served as the finale of Adventure 2020 altogether. <laughs> Number 11, Black War Greymon vs. War Greymon and Imperial Dramon, Digimon Adventure 02. It's hard to get any cooler than a duel between opposing War Greymon, but throw Imperial Dramon into the mix, and it's no surprise that this explosive fight ranks highly among the Digi greats. Then you should have stopped him, not attacked me! Don't even think about hurting time! The bombastic back and forth is easily one of the most intense the series had seen to that point. The sky-high levels of strength are part of the reason why, but the rest is due to how much care the season put into Black War Greymon's character. The misguided Mon is one of the franchise's most compelling antagonists, period. Because of that, his final sacrificial act ends this fight with a whimper, not a bang. It's not a happy conclusion, but it's a memorable one. Number 10, Agumon, Bond of Courage, and Gabumon, Bond of Friendship, vs. Eosmon. Digimon Adventure Last Evolution Kizuna. At its core, Digimon has always been about growing up, so following a whole franchise of build-up, there's nothing quite like watching Agumon and Gabumon reach their final forms. For that fact alone, this whole battle is already won for the history books. But thankfully, the scene's ludicrous production values more than live up to the hype. In layman's terms, this beatdown is simply exhilarating. And yet, somehow, the scene's grandiose action doesn't overshadow the very real emotional stakes. That's because in the end, this is so much more than the epic fight against Eosmon. It's a worthwhile goodbye to a partnership that was literally decades in the making. <laughs> Number 9, Angemon vs. Devimon, Digimon Adventure. From their names alone, there's an obvious parallel between Angemon and Devimon, but that's the only obvious part about this showdown. Devimon's unrivaled strength had already wiped out most of the other Digi-Destined, leaving things pretty hopeless. Luckily, hope is kind of TK's speciality. So, in a scene that pretty much speaks for itself, Angemon finally got to take flight. Seeing TK's angelic partner for the first time is staggering, especially since he immediately one-shots Devimon with his hand of fate. I'll stop you! Hi! Then, in the blink of an eye, Angemon left just as quickly as he'd come. But with a win as iconic as this, he wouldn't be forgotten anytime soon. TK. I'll come back again, if you want me to. Number 8, Shoutmon Cross 7 Superior Mode vs. Mega Darkness Bagramon, Digimon Fusion. 
To say Mikey and the others went all in here would be putting it lightly. This isn't just a last minute Digivolution or even a measly fusion. No, it's the combination of every single Digimon in the entire digital world. However, this moment stands out more for its impact than its combat. <laughs> Mainly because Mega Darkness Bagramon doesn't actually put up that much of a fight. Considering what he was up against, it's hard to blame him though. Odds are, nothing else in the digital world would have fared any better. Even if this doesn't end up being Mikey and Shoutmon's final fusion, it's definitely the last one Mega Darkness Bagramon will ever see. <laughs> Number 7 Digidestined vs Malo Myotismon Digimon Adventure 02 there's a lot more than both worlds at stake in this fight. At the time, the ending of O2 marked the culmination of the original adventure series, so it needed to go out on a high note. Bringing back Myotismon with a malevolent new form was a pretty good start. Actually, you can call me Milo Myotismon. So good, in fact, that it genuinely seemed as though the Digi Destin might fail. But when their digital partners couldn't beat Mellow Myotismon, Davis and the others turned to their real life friends. More specifically, all the other Digi Destined they'd met across the world. That globe spanning final attack wraps up Mallow Myotismon and Adventure 02 in a single, unforgettable bow. Number 6 Susanomon vs. Lucemon Digimon Frontier there's 20 ancient spirits, two worlds on the line, and one very nasty Digimon to take down. In a nutshell, that's Frontier's last battle for you. I am Susanoo-Oman, inheritor of the spirits of the 10 legendary warriors. But it never feels too overcrowded, primarily because Susanoo-Oman's celestial blade quickly cuts things down to size. In Lucemon's case, literally. In a grander sense, it's poetic that the season ends with a true visualization of all the ancient spirits, let alone that Susanomon's debut fight somehow lives up to that reputation. Your evil must be destroyed. Your spirit will be renewed and all your evilness will vanish. Now with this energy, you will be purified! Even after Lucemon became the incarnate of all evil, Susanomon still threw down like the world depended on it. Because, well, it did. Obviously, these Digi Destined are a real spirited bunch. Oh no, you don't! <laughs> Number 5 Omnimon vs. Diaboromon. Digimon Adventure, our war game. Omnimon's entrance is the very definition of extraordinary, and yet the fight that follows is somehow just as remarkable. Part War Greymon, Part Metal Gorillamon, they digivolve together to become Omnimon! The ticking time bomb in the background adds a pulse pounding intensity to every passing second, so it's lucky that Omnimon didn't waste a single one. Armed with nothing more than a sword, a cannon, and the hopes of children across the world, he devastated millions of Diaboromon just like that. Supreme Cannon! It's a breathtaking, adrenaline-fueled climax that fully delivers on every front. Clearly, Diaboromon just brings out the best in Digimon. After all, Omnimon wouldn't be the last fusion to show this virus who's boss. <laughs> Number 4 Shine Greymon Burst Mode vs. Belfimon Digimon Data Squad out of every villain Marcus and the others have gone up against, Karata was by far the most deserving of a punch between the eyes. Did we get him? <sighs> yeah. 
being Marcus Damon's partner, Shine Greymon was more than willing to do the honors. Although at the start, the mad scientist's fusion with Belfimon seemed just about unbeatable. But this is Marcus we're talking about. He took those odds and used them to help Shine Greymon positively burst onto the scene. This is what the true burst mode looks like. Shine Greymon! From there, all Karata could do was sit and wait for his fiery end. In Marcus Damon fashion, it came in the form of a rousing one-two knockout. The word satisfying doesn't even begin to cover it. Karata! Number 3. War Greymon and Metal Garurumon vs Venom Myotismon – Digimon Adventure there's no better way to christen two new Mega Digimon than with a high-stakes fight for the planet. It's War Greymon! It says here his attack is Terraforce, gathering the energy around him and focusing it in the palm of his hand. And Metal Garurumon has his Metal Wolf Claw attack. He shoots a powerful cold blast at his enemies, then blows them to pieces. As expected, it's awesome, it's grand, and it put an end to Myotismon's reign with plenty of style. War Greymon and Metal Garurumon's attacks single-handedly demonstrated the might of the Mega Level. And they got to look damn cool while doing it. And now to point things up! Mega <laughs> However, this match isn't just about Tai and Matt's Digimon. No, all the Digidestined and their partners get to land a few good hits too. So even though War Greymon and Metal Garurumon deal the final blow, this is a win for the entire adventure crew, if not the season as a whole. <laughs> Number 2. Agumon vs Don Devimon – Digimon Adventure 2020 after Tai seemingly dies in battle, it's hard to say if the feral machine Draymon his partner becomes can even be called Agumon anymore. Either way, one thing is for certain, this is by far the most ferocious takedown the digital world has ever seen. Don Devimon was no pushover, but you would think he was a rookie by how quickly he's torn to shreds. At a point, Machine Draymon's unending rampage almost borders on terrifying. <laughs> and yet you can't take your eyes off it either. The only saving grace is that the trauma helped Agumon unlock the strength of his true mega form, War Greymon. Alas, it came way too late for Don Devimon. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Gallantmon vs Beelzemon – Digimon Tamers a showdown with Impmon's Mega was inevitable. Even through Leomon's murder and a dark digivolution, Takato and Gilmon still hadn't hashed it all out with him. As a result, this clash of Megas represents more than just one fight. Instead, it plays out like the final act of a rivalry that had been brewing all season long. <laughs> The edge of your seat combat is thrilling, heart-wrenching, and profound all at the same time. But it's the ending that cements this as something truly special. <laughs> Despite her grief, Jerry spares Beelzemon, choosing forgiveness over more bloodshed. It's a testament to Tamer's emotional storytelling that this one choice turned the show's darkest fights into its brightest moments. Yeah! Did 
you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.